Now then friends and welcome the Teesside Simmer here and welcome to my latest um, flight simulator video. Today I've got the Horizons Simulations Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. I'm going to be taking it for a bit of a spin from Tenerife to Edinburgh. So let's start at the beginning then and have a look see what this thing looks like in the flight setup menu. It's split really into two separate aircraft on your aircraft selection. There is one and there is the other. Now those are separated into two different selections of liveries which I will go into now. So as you can see I've downloaded a couple from the same place that I got the aircraft from. I'll go into that in a second. I've got some United, some TUIs, some Emirates and over here I've got some British Airways and some Virgin Atlantics. Now I was able to download this aircraft for free from flightsim.to and this is the page where it is. All you need to do is search Horizons Simulations 787-9. This is where it will bring you, I've already got it downloaded and you can get some deliveries from up here too for it. Into the sim to set up my flight then and it probably is worth mentioning at this point that in order to get this aircraft you must have the upgraded deluxe version of a flight simulator 2020 the uh, the package that comes with the 787-10 so that there is sort of um, the information there already on the aircraft for this to use so setting up my flight then into Edinburgh we're going to go for an ILS runway 24 approach and we'll be taking off out of this airport in southern Tenerife runway 27 will head off to the west over Grand Canaria then head north and fly over, skim over Portugal, past France and then up, past Wales and then up to Scotland. On the ground in the aircraft then, I will not be setting up from the gate and going through all the checklist procedure. We'll do that in a, probably a later video, but not in this one. Just want to see what it's like. Get our weather radar on and stretch our radar out so you can see a little bit further on you can see we've got a little bit of weather seems to be raining a little bit just checking what we're going to be flying to um, our altitude initially set that into the autopilot get the park and brake off and away we go Now I know what the eagle-eyed aviation enthusiasts among you are likely screaming at YouTube right now and that is that this side stick is from an Airbus, it wouldn't be found in this Boeing. I would like the uh, Yorg to match my honeycomb side, um, honeycomb throttle, however alas they are very expensive. Maybe if you all, um, you know, subscribed, like maybe, um, shared my videos amongst your friends, I might get some more subscribers and YouTube might pay me, start paying me for these videos, but you know, alas at the minute. Maybe not. So it's up to you guys really. I'll set up GoFundMe. I'm easy either way. Choice is yours. So then a decent rate of climb, landing gear up. I'll get autopilot on in just a sec. There we go. Auto throttle and all that other shit. There it is. So a quick word then on this Horizons um, simulation Dreamliner-9 and why I've got a TUI livery on it. So TUI don't have the Dreamliner-10 in their fleet, they've got a couple of 9s, a couple of 8s, but they don't have a 10. So all, every time I flew the Dash 10 in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I felt it wasn't really true to life and I was cheating a little bit. So now this um, Dash 9 has come about and I'm a huge fan of it, I think it looks fantastic, that's shitty weather over there. I'm a huge fan of this, I think it looks fantastic and it keeps things true to life for me which I really enjoy. The cockpit is obviously built on what's already in the simulator from the Dash 10 so that already looks fantastic but from the outside I think this is a really good bit of kit. It looks brilliant as we take a southern turn and then we'll turn west over towards Grand Canaria. So our flight time today from the Canary Islands up to Edinburgh in Scotland is about three and a half 
hours time i'm going to do the usual trick of putting a time lapse on in the meantime if you are enjoying the video guys then please let me know about it leave a comment leave a like subscribe to the channel i'm gonna go make myself a coffee and i'm gonna sit and wait for that subscriber list to grow see you in a bit Just quickly then, for those of you who are left who haven't got bored and fucked off, I wonder if you can help me with a problem. As you can see on my flight plan here, as I've got past this last waypoint, there's no flight plan on my map here until we get to this waypoint here, so we're flying a little bit blind at the moment. Now, if we just jump into the cockpit, we can see it's the same. Change the range on the in-flight computer here. And you can see there's no path taking us to that next flight plan. I'm sure there will be a way to rectify it, using this thing here but i'm not that way minded i don't really use this to fly my plan my flights i use the um the, the, the flight plan sort of generator within the main menu so don't really know how to get over there now other than using the heading select to put myself in a heading over towards that next um waypoint only problem being is i've done this before and i've used heading select and when i've got to my next waypoint I'm struggling to get back onto the defined flight plan and I'm just sort of stuck on the heading select. So please guys, if you know a way whereby I can rectify this, whether I can have my flight plan sort of generated all the way through or I can go from heading select back to my LNAV, my flight plan um, with ease, then please do let me know because I think I'm going to have to take this all the way back up to Edinburgh Airport now using the heading select, which isn't ideal. Also, just wait a minute, guys, and look at this sort of view, this angle you can set yourself up in this aircraft. I think over the course of the last couple of hours, I have absolutely fell in love with this thing on this simulator, this 787-9 from Horizons Simulations. I think it's mint. This is my new favourite view ever in this sim. It's phenomenal. Here we go then on approach landing into Edinburgh, having had to use our 
heading selector to get us this far. Um, we spoke about that again. If you do know how I can fix that, please do leave a comment. If there's any of you left watching, I would appreciate that. Now, the runway is off there in front of us, as you can see. We've got our flaps fully set. We've got our approach mode on, and our airspeed is good. Let's see what happens now. Hopefully, the ILS will be Already bloody inbound, mate, but never mind. Here we go then. Localizer's is picked up, but I think we're struggling to get the ILS. Something's obviously gone wrong here. It might be the way I've set things up. It might be take a bit of trial and error with this new aircraft, but never mind. Um, I think we will take it for a landing shortly. A little bit of lag. That being shit. Auto throttle off. Just as we're landing then, I will give you my verdict on this Horizons simulation 787-9. Dreamliner, in essence, I think it's fantastic. I think it looks the part, it feels the part, it handles well. I think they've done an excellent job on it. I'm probably going to not going to do an excellent job on this landing, it's probably going to be shit. It's probably a bit slow now, but yeah, it's not too bad, I'll have that. Get the reverse thrust on, there we go. And there we go, yeah, my verdict of this aircraft, this Horizon Simulation is, I think it's phenomenal. In essence, I think it's brilliant. And it's good to have this because the Dash 9 is probably more um, prevalently in use, if that makes sense. So I won't have the autopilot do this, you know, we just stops in the middle of the runway but no yeah i thoroughly enjoy it thoroughly liked it i think it's i think it's the business and I, all that remains for me is to say thank you very much for watching everyone if you are still here please give the video a like please subscribe to the channel it would mean a lot to me as i try and grow things so yeah and hopefully i'll see you on the next one i'm going to finish this by just taxiing over to the gate but no thanks again guys and i'll see you later